Southeast Texas Weekly. Thanks for joining us. I'm Jackie Simeon. On this edition of Southeast Texas Weekly, we have your invitation to the Lone Star High Steppers Riding Club third annual camp out and trail ride. And we'll help get you ready for Thanksgiving with information on two turkey giveaways. But we begin with an opportunity for veterans in Jefferson County to get free legal help. Mark Sparks and Melissa Kirchmer with Provost and Umphrey Law Firm join us to explain how you can take advantage of this. Thank you both for joining us. Thanks for having us, Jack. We appreciate it. And Mark, you were recently named Jefferson County Pro Bono Lawyer of the Year. Congratulations. Thank you very much, Jack. Now, how does an attorney uh, achieve that recognition? Well, lawyers in our community have a lot of opportunity for pro bono or free legal work. You can do adoptions or divorces, and we have clinics, including the Veterans Clinic. And fortunately, I'm very grateful for the selection by past pro bono attorneys in our community who came together and selected me as pro bono attorney of the year. Very good. Congratulations to you again. To briefly, uh, tell us, both of you, tell us a little bit about your legal backgrounds. Well, uh, I uh, obviously went to law school at UT, <laughs> and I practice law for Provost and Humphrey Law Firm here in, in Jefferson County, Texas, and I practice personal injury law. I used to do divorce law, and that is what helps me do the pro bono work, is mostly family law pro bono work. Very good. And Melissa? And I actually work for the Jefferson County Bar Association um, as a support staff. I'm not an actual attorney. <laughs> I just aid veterans. Um, in the direction for, for legal help. Very good, and that's at the center of our discussion today, uh, that program for veterans, which is an award-winning program, I'm being told. Yes, ma'am, we have, we've received um, awards from the State Bar of Texas and the uh, Texas uh, Veterans uh, Association. Um, Tell us about the program and how veterans in this area can take advantage of it. Well, the veterans, uh, program was started by the State Bar of Texas um, to ensure that military veterans um, had access to legal resources. Um, and we do that here in Jefferson County through clinics and seminars. Um, we hold bi-monthly seminars at the Beaumont VA outpatient clinic um, and those are topic specific. Um, veterans can come and, and get knowledge on a specific top, topic and then at the conclusion of that seminar they are able to ask attorneys specific questions. Um, and then we also hold large legal clinics and we do four of those a year. Um, we just recently had one in Jefferson County um, in commemoration of Veterans Day um, and then we will hold three additional ones in, in neighboring counties. Mark, what do you find is uh, some of the biggest concerns of veterans in this area? Well, that's, that's what's interesting, Jackie, is that these clinics, you, you get a mix of lawyers and expertise, but typically the problems are similar. A lot of family law questions, a lot of questions about disability and, and work and, and other kinds of insurance issues, uh, but, and occasionally the criminal law questions, and a lot of wills and probate questions. And what's really interesting is, you know, since its inception, this particular program that Melissa heads up, has through 100, over 130 attorneys, local attorneys, helped over 345 veterans. Wow. Mostly in the areas of family law and, and insurance and, and probate, uh, helping them fill out wills and things of that nature. And why is it important uh, for your law firm to give back to veterans in this way? Well, the, the Provost Humphrey Law Firm is obviously very active in the community. And, and like my father used to say, a lawyer's value is his time. And so when, when the lawyer can take the time to give back to the community, that to me and, and to my dad is one of the most important things a lawyer can do. So what can veterans do to take advantage of this? What's the first step in taking advantage of the programs that you offer? They can give me a call at the Jefferson County Bar Association. Um, our number there is 835-8647. Um, I can give them our schedule of events. Um, but if they can't make one of those events, I can still help them. I can, I can get them with the appropriate attorney to help with whatever need they have. Um, and it's, it's important to also mention that, that we network with other organizations. So um, it, it may be that the veteran doesn't actually need legal assistance, but I can, I can network and get them to the appropriate place. Because we find that their needs are so great and varying 
Exactly. So even if it's not legal, you can direct them we to direct the right it. agency? We, we absolutely do. And, and it's funny because most of them think that they do need an attorney and, and just by having one conversation with them, um, we can figure out that, you know, maybe it's not not exactly what you thought it was and, and, and we can help them get to the appropriate help. Very good. Well, let's give that phone number once more and we also have the number for Provost Humphrey. That number is 835-5000. And what is the other number that you gave? It's 835-8647. Ms. Simeon, uh, actually the Provost Humphrey number is 835-6000. 6000, okay, so let's <laughs> drop that number, 835-6000. We hope that veterans in this area will take advantage of what it is you're offering. Congratulations to you again and for you on the great work that you're doing as Thank well. Thank you. Thank you both. Thank, Thank you. you. Up next, how you can have a really happy Thanksgiving with a free turkey. Details after this break.